The equation x square plus 2b equal to 0 has two distinct roots. So we are talking about a quadratic equation which is given in the form of x square plus a constant term equal to 0. It has two distinct roots, two different roots. So let's say the roots are mango and parrot. You can name them anything, it won't matter. The product of the roots is negative 1 by 3. So m times p is equal to negative 1 divided by 3. Now we need to find the value of b. So basically we need to find the value of this constant part 2b. And once we have that we can divide it by 2 and get the value of p. So there has to be some relation, some connection between the constant part of the quadratic equation and the product of roots. So first of all let me tell you what is that relation for a standard quadratic equation? ax square plus bx plus c in which all the terms are on one side of the equation and we write this as decreasing power of x. For this standard equation, product of roots, product of roots is equal to constant term c, this constant term c divided by coefficient of x square that is a, c by a. So the strategy would be to change any given quadratic equation into standard form and then use this relation to connect the product of roots with its coefficients. And if you are wondering how did we get this relation? So one of the ways could be to use quadratic formula to find the product of roots. In this case, when you will multiply both the roots, the final expression that you will get would be equal to c by a. And if you want to know more about this process, how did we get this, definitely try to watch previous videos of this unit in which we have clearly explained the entire process. As of now, let's use this expression c by a to find the value of this unknown b. Let's first of all change this into standard form. So we will have x square. Now there is no term with a variable x. So we can write that as 0 times x. This is actually equal to 0 so it won't make any difference. Plus of constant value that is 2b equal to 0. In this case the coefficient of x square is 1. So this would act as our a. The coefficient of x is 0 so this is b. And this is the constant part, which is c. So the product of roots would be equal to constant part divided by coefficient of x square. That is 2b divided by 1. And this should be equal to negative 1 by 3, product of roots. So let me write that down, equal to negative 1 upon 3. Now we have 2b as equal to negative 1 by 3. And let's divide both sides by 2 now. So b would be equal to negative 1 upon 6. Hence the value of b that we were looking for is negative 1 upon 6.